I'm Todd Quinn. I'm the Business and Economics Librarian here at the University of New Mexico, and today we're going to talk about the search functionality in Web of Science. But before we get there, I just want to make you aware of some of the limitations of this database. It doesn't cover the arts and humanities fields as well because they're more likely book-centric than journal-centric, and Web of Science is really concentrated on the journal. Also, it doesn't necessarily cover every journal because um, it picks what it considers the top journals of every field and it reviews that every year. In addition, in open access to the emerging field journals are not as well covered as others. So with those limitations, these are the search options you have and I'm using the core collection, but this, these work in all of these indexes. So the basic search allows you to put in search terms and use the drop down menu so you can search a specific field. And that can be quite useful instead of searching everything. For example, if you only wanted to search the title or the abstract, etc. Also allows you to use Boolean operators and proximity operators. For example, if I did a search on climate change, and I'm using quotes because I want the phrase climate change, and instead of using and, which is the default, so the word and is defaulted between these two, I want to use the word near. And near means um, I want water, I have to be capitalized, water to be near within 10 words of climate change. So it could be first or it can be second of that concept. So when I did climate change and water, I got 70,000 results. But with near, I have 12,000 results because now these concepts are more closely connected than in some of the other ones. If we go back to the search, and you can add another row to the basic search and search with different fields. If I wanted author, I could do that as well. There's an author search, which allows you to put in a person's name. Um, people with unique names usually can only have one result, but there are certain people, of course, that have um, common names so there's a researcher on campus named is James Brown. He's in ecology. So when I do a search for his name, there's lots of people with it. And it asks me which country. And I'm going to, it's USA. Now with the search results, I can use the left bar to find him this way if I knew his middle initial. Or I can look through the first number of results. And here it says University of New Mexico. I can select his name and then find all the articles that are associated with him in this system and the ones that he's written or co-authored. And then, you know, there's lots here. Now, there's also a search here that says cited reference. So if there's a specific um, item you want to look for, you can search by author and cited work and year or use the drop-down menus. So you can do a time range, so if I wanted to look up, say, Dr. Lopez here on campus, and I know she writes about street race. I'm not sure ex the exact citation. And so instead of work, which is usually the source, I'm going to look up um, title. So the title of an item that has street race. And I'll put in a range of, say, 2010 uh, to 2020. You don't always have, you, know, you can search this one field, if not all of them. So when I do that search, a number show up, and what is very useful is not only do they find the exact citation, this one, they find ones when there's, um, uh, there's a little minor typo in the citation. So these two items are the exact same site um, source. And now I want to go look at the 21 articles that have cited this article, what's your street race? So when I do that search, now I can see the 21 articles that have cited that. So that's another way you can do a search. Lastly, you can do the advanced search, which means you can do a complex search using all these field tags along with Boolean operators and even using some of these um, drop-down menus. So if you only want to look for articles or something else. 
So those are some of the key resources or search functionalities here in Web of Science.